What's up guys this is Hardik here and today I'll be showing you how to flash also give you my full review on the CM13 ROM which is based on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow for the Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos so let's get right into it So first off what you have to do is just go into the link in the description below and there will be the links to the file just download the rom as well as the g apps and just paste it in your internal storage so once in your internal storage just reboot into your recovery mode and just wait until it reboots so yep so once into the recovery uh, i have the fields recovery but it also will work on TWRP or let's say you have TWM recovery so it will work on that as well so basically how I flash is I first uh, install the zip and I first flash the ROM itself so it's the CM13 unofficial this one as you can see and the G apps are below they are, they are called as G apps 6.601 base and just flash it uh, from your recovery and then I do a factory reset I won't putting it again because I already have the um, ROM and I've been testing it for like uh, three days. I flashed it on Saturday and today is um, I guess Tuesday. Yep. So I've been testing it for three days almost. And yeah, today I'll be showing you the review for this ROM. Just reboot your device real quick and then wait until it reboots. As this is based on CM13, uh, as you can see, you have your CM logo over there. Um, and yeah, the first boot will obviously take uh, a bit of a time, but then uh, it will boot real quick. So just wait until it reboots. There we go. So we are in. So I've been testing this ROM, as I said, for like three days. So I, I did change the DPI on the uh, phone. So mine will look a bit smaller than yours, so just uh, note that. But anyways, uh, yep, so what you get in this ROM uh, is actually based on CM13 as I said. So you'll get all the features from the CM, uh, that's the ROM. So basically just scroll down and I'll go into about phone. And then as you can see it runs on Android version 6.0.1, that is the Marshmallow. And yep, you get the game over here so let's let's try the game and yep there you can see the game itself so uh, there you can see you have the uh, launcher uh, it's called the signation mode launcher but anyways just going into settings I'll quickly show you what all do we get here so basically sound display and lights but in display and lights if you scroll down as you can see you have the LCD density also you have the show search bar and read sense option over here then you get the themes notification lock screens the buttons and there you can see you can customize your home your menu and your back button as per you wish over here so that's there you can even swap the buttons so the if you swap it the the multitasking button will act as a back button while this will act as a multitasking button so that's there but i'll just quickly sub it back again then uh just going down you get the battery life you get the security uh this is basically normal in all science and mod roms but you get the memory option over here which is new as you can see it's a marshmallow feature so you get to know how much ram is used uh, within the past three hours the 12 hours and so on so just going back again uh, you get the users so basically this wasn't available on the aosp rom but it's there on the cyanogen mode rom here and then going to system profiles status bar it's basically the normal uh, setting but now the status bar you get here is the horizontal scrolling so as you can see you can uh, horizontally sc uh, scroll to uh, get more features there you can see night mode and all things but yep that's basically it uh, for the status bar you can even control the brightness and things then going back you have the apps the accounts this privacy google location everything is normal then going to storage and usb i don't have an sd card at the moment so i didn't test if the sd card works as an internal storage over here but um, you can test it for yourself so going back 
you get the language and input, the backup and the developer options and then about phone. The good thing here is you get the OTA updates from Cyanogen mode itself. So uh, that's pretty neat. So if a new 13 CN13 version is available, you'll get it on your device as well. So as you can see the build number, it says CM uh, i 2 uh, user debug 6.0.1 marshmallow so that's pretty neat and as you can see the version it says 6.0.1 there you go uh, so yeah that's basically it this is a pretty pretty minimalistic rom as you can see no fancy features over here what you get in the app drawer is just uh, the audio effects the browser calculator all the basic cm stuff other stuff you actually have to download it from the play store uh, that's basically it you just get these many features with the play store and talking about the battery life on this rom uh, i did plug this last night and use it for a couple of minutes but the battery life as you can see is pretty normal uh, it's on 55 and i still have one day left but uh, it's it's basically normal I'd say it is better than the stock uh, rom of for the grand but yeah that's there is it stable or not? Uh, I can't actually tell you guys if it's stable or not so early but I'll say this uh, that I didn't face any errors or any force closes or any lag so far the only lag I found uh, so far was the settings lag so if I just tap on the settings uh, it takes actually a few minutes to get into the settings actually but on that no lags whatsoever also no force closes uh, because this is a minimalistic uh, G app, so no Google services have stopped and stuff like that. But other than that, yeah, that's basically it. My Galaxy Grand, and it is running the latest 6.0.1 Marshmallow. Unfortunately, it's on the January security patch update, but that's actually not bad. Uh, you actually have the. Um, what say CM13 on your grand most of the folks they don't have it right now but you have it already so yeah I did use it without a sim card so I actually also don't know if dual sim works on this uh, but you can actually try it yourself also I suggest making a backup before flashing this ROM so that if anything goes wrong you can just revert back to your previous ROM and yeah that's basically it uh, everything works pretty fine uh, dialer is good camera as you can see i'll just quickly open the camera here there you go this is the google camera that you have it's not updated but it works fine as you can see you can take pictures it's basically the older camera it's no fancy things swiping from over here gets to this and yeah let's quickly take a picture of this there we go and yep that's basically it i didn't take it uh, good but the camera has no changes uh, it's obvious that roms don't change the camera quality so yeah that's been it uh, if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and also if you want me to try any other roms just let me know in the comment section below and i'll definitely make a video on those roms as well anyways that's been it uh, if you want to know more about these roms just ask me uh, in the comment section below and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one